first of all, it's an important time of year for us, uh, for the Primos every year. We're always delighted to have people come to us. Uh, we can really put our best foot forward and show them uh, uh, our new vintage in a controlled atmosphere. But uh, this year in particular, we're also celebrating this week. In fact, on the 10th of April, we were celebrating the 350th anniversary of the first mention of Chateau Aubriand in the diaries of Samuel Pepys. We have an earlier mention, but not a description of the wine. We have an earlier mention in the uh, cellar book of King Charles II, um, where uh, we have the line of Aubriano that he brought over in 1660 uh, when he returned from France um, uh, after his time in exile at the court of his uh, first cousin, King Louis XIV. Um, so we've just announced a new prize also that we're going to be giving for anyone who can find an older description of uh, Aubriand uh, pre-1660 um, and there will be some significant uh, prize given for that including some 1989 Chateau Aubriand, uh, one of our best uh, vintages ever and uh, so we hope to find uh, all the mentions of, of, this, of this wine uh, but you know, this week is a big celebration for us of that anniversary. Back to the 2012 vintage, uh, exciting for us to uh, show people these wines. Uh, we talked about obviously Aubriand, we talked about La Mission and uh, Chateau Quintus, our new baby. Uh, for Quintus, uh, it's particularly exciting because we obviously are just in our second vintage and uh, uh, our winemakers are really getting a hand on the estate and you can see that reflected in the wines, whether it's the Zagon de Quintus or in uh, Quintus itself and you can really see uh, the style uh, shining through uh, uh, of this particular vineyard. Different from our Mission and Aubriand, which have more tannic structures uh, uh, present. Uh, this is all about softness, elegance, uh, obviously a significant percentage of Merlot in the wine, but a, a, a beautiful, uh, pure uh, uh, wine that I'm, I'm very proud of. And uh, Aubriand, I think, is a particular success this year. I mean, we have one of the things that sets us apart here uh, at La Mission and Aubriand is that we have uh, these three grape varietals that are uh, present in our soils, um, uh, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc. We have about, in the vineyards, about equal uh, amounts of uh, Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. But this year was really a uh, year in 2012 where the precocious, the early, uh, vineyards uh, were uh, fortunate um, uh, to have uh, perfect weather during the harvest and the Merlots obviously were all brought in in perfect conditions. So we have a, a predominance of Merlot in, in our first wines uh, which assures the, 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 the quality of this particular vintage. Um, and I think also for our white wines we're very excited about the quality of the whites. Uh, the growing conditions and the harvesting conditions were perfect. Um, and I think that shows in the white wines because we just have this uh, homogenous um, quality from the, the second uh, white wine, La Clarté uh, de, de Aubriand. We have, um, I think, one of the best, if not the best, uh, second white wine that we've ever produced. Um, and uh, obviously the, the, the Aubriand Blanc and the La Mission Aubriand Blanc are, are, are exceptional. But even in, um, even in this vintage, we just, Taste of the 2012 uh, Clarondel Whites yesterday. I think it's the best Clarondel 2012 uh, white wine, the best Clarondel White that we produced uh, uh, over the last uh, now uh, uh, 10 vintages that we're pr producing Clarondel. So um, yeah, I'm excited about that also. As I said, we're going to be announcing this uh, prize for whomever finds the uh, earliest mention or earlier mention of Chateau Aubriand in some historic books. We, we can start looking at maybe in Versailles or other libraries around the world. And uh, we'll be announcing this prize in uh, end of June, July 2014. 
Uh, now we know that the eyes of Brazil are going to be elsewhere in the world because it's going to be the, the World Cup and uh, everyone's going to be uh, in Brazil at that time, myself included, I might say. I just, uh, uh, I'll be at the finals uh, with my family, so I'm very excited about that in Rio. Um, but uh, at the same time, we're going to be announcing uh, the, the prize for the winner of uh, whomever's found an earlier mention of Chateau Aubuyon.